Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and the World Cup is upon us and for this reason I decided to dedicate this video and a few other videos that we're going to be making this week to basically soccer balls, soccer and just World Cup stuff in general. And in today's video we're going to be talking about a soccer ball that's moving close to the speed of light. Let's find out what happens and welcome to What The Math. So even though you may not be able to tell, this is actually a tremendously large soccer ball, approximately 500 Milky Ways in mass and tremendously large in size. And it's also moving at a uh, relatively slow speed. But if I were to give it a speed of light or about 0.999 of the speed of light, it would actually still remain ball like. Now, this might seem like a strange uh, topic for a video, but I actually wanted to talk about the theory behind spheres and relativity. Let me go back a little bit. So, you may have uh, watched enough videos on this channel to know that when things move really, really fast, specifically close to the speed of light, they start changing appearance and they start changing their actual physical properties. You may also have watched one of the videos I made previously, specifically a video on the simulation code Speed of Light that was made uh, for free by the MIT University that talks about the effects of traveling close to the speed of light where you get things like length contraction and also, as you can see here, uh, redshift and uh, blue shift. Now, these effects are normally difficult to imagine and it's actually kind of hard to predict without doing some math what's going to happen as you travel close to the speed of light. But today we're only talking about a soccer ball and specifically a soccer ball whose color does not matter. So we're actually going to be ignoring redshift and blue shift effects. We're going to be only talking about length contraction. And it just so happens that a soccer ball traveling at the speed of light, no matter the color, no matter the size and no matter the actual par other parameters, is going to still appear like a soccer ball. Now, let me actually kind of explain to you what's happening here because it is actually surprisingly complex. And a lot of this is going to be based on the work by this person right here, Uta Kraus from the Institute of Physics at the University uh, Hildesheim in Germany. And he actually has quite a lot of really cool simulations that help you visualize um, relativistic effects. But we're going to be looking at the World Cup version of this where Back in 2006, he helped us visualize what it actually is like for a ball to travel at the speed of light. Now, this is a typical sort of understanding of the length contraction when it comes to objects traveling at the close to the speed of light. At about 90% of the speed of light, you expect the object to look like this or to actually be like this, not even to look like this. And at a 90-90% of the speed of light, it's going to be even more squished. Now, these are based on Einstein's predictions, and we've actually been able to prove them many, many, many times. So this is a real thing. This actually does happen. And so a ball moving at 0.9 speed of light should technically kind of appear this way to us. This is what you would expect uh, it to look like, because it would change its shape into what's known as a teardrop-shaped spheroid, which is actually this right here. But there is a small side note to all of this. Even though this is actually what you'd expect to see, it doesn't include the length contraction that also applies to objects moving at close to the speed of light. In other words, even though technically because of the way light moves, you would expect the actual shape of the object to change its appearance and to look more stretched out. This is actually the reason why it's happening. This is just a stick that's flying toward us but it's flying really fast at 0.9 um, speed of light and it will appear this way, it will appear actually stretched. And this is what's happening to the boulder. But the thing is, this doesn't include length contraction. The object also decreases in length as it travels faster and faster to uh, closer to the speed of light. And because of this, this is what the ball will look like at that particular speed, 0.99 speed of light. It actually still remains spherical. It doesn't change its shape at all. So. There is a lot of things going on here, but the ball doesn't change at all. And this is because of two effects. Basically, effects that cancel each other out. 
The first effect here is the length contraction, so it basically makes the soccer ball contract and become shorter. And the second effect is that stretching that I showed you earlier that makes the ball look this way, but because it's now also contracting the length, it returns back to its spherical shape and stays as a circle or as a sphere that is, which is very, very unusual because every other shape out there as long as it's not a sphere, will actually stretch or change in some way or another. Like, for example, here's what the cubes would look like at the uh, 0.9 speed of light. As you can see, they are no longer cubical. They actually change appearance and they look very, very weirdly shaped. So spheres seem to be the exception to the rule. And this is actually what it would look like to pass uh, by Saturn at 0.99 speed of light. As you can see, everything here is once again distorted, although the planet itself, because it is spherical, it doesn't really change in shape and it remains as, as a sphere. So this is exactly what's happening with the soccer ball right here. Even though it's moving at the speed of light, it still maintains its spherical shape. Now, if that ball then decides to collide with another sphere, and in this case, as you can see, it's planet Earth, that's going to be a completely different story. That will probably cause some major destruction of the planet because of the amount of energy that was just delivered to the planet. But anyway, so now you hopefully know a little bit more about the relativistic effects, at least when it comes to spheres, and all you really have to remember is that spheres are actually the only shapes out there that don't really change at any speed and they'll actually appear pretty much the same no matter how fast they're moving although in reality they do actually change length but it's just the appearance that remains the same anyway that's all i wanted to talk about in this video and hopefully now you know a little bit more uh, of physics and a little bit more of relativistic effects when it comes to spheres and specifically soccer balls and anyway Leave a comment below, let me know who you are cheering for and who you think is actually going to win the World Cup and come back tomorrow to learn something else you may have not known before. And watch out for those other World Cup special videos where we're going to discuss a few more scientific facts and other facts about soccer balls, World Cup, or just the science of this beautiful game. I'll see you guys tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye bye.